Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back today with another episode of the Command Block Academy, and I'm sorry it's been about three weeks or so since I've made it, and actually I wrote this chapter about three weeks ago as well, so it wasn't really a, um, an issue of writing the chapter, it's mainly an issue of recording and remembering, because there's just so much I have to think about and so much I have to remember, uh, but anyways, today we are going over chapter 5, which is set block, placing them for you. So I'm going to hop back into F1 first person mode because that's weird. Um, anyway, so first off, um, what is the set block and what is its purpose? Uh, it's if you're wondering or if you don't know already, there's a command called slash set block right here. And uh, what it's used is to place blocks and stuff without you actually having to like right click like so like this. It'll do it for you. And um, it's pretty simple to use. So just first off, use this command slash set block tilde tilde tilde. And if you were watching the previous uh, if you watched the previous episode, which was chapter 4, we covered uh, directional placement and what these tildes meant. So that's what this is for now. So, and then stone, and then hit enter, and it'll set a block of stone right there. So then next off, what you need to, uh, so this is really useful for like maps and stuff. If you want to put blocks places, you don't have to use a piston to move blocks around. You can just set the block there. And actually, I don't really use pistons or anything anymore. I just use set blocks for the most part. Unless I want to make a cool looking door. Anyway, so next up, um, well, this only works for the block's name, so you have to know the name of the block. So, um, and certain blocks have damage values as well, so there's a couple different things to it. Uh, so if you do slash set block stone, and then the number, you put a number after it, so I put a 3 here, that's the damage value of the stone. And since the damage value of stone of 3 gives you this block, um, that's what will be put there. So if I put 0, it'll give me the default stone. If you don't put anything there, it'll give you the default stone. So if you want to actually see the um, see the number values for these, you can either go to... I have a website on the page, or which tells you all the things and damage values. Or you can just hit F3 and then Q on your keyboard. It pulls up this, and then hit F3... H and then when you go in here it'll tell you as you can see it says Minecraft stone and it says number 0001 out of 0. This one says granite number 0001 out of 1 so that means if you give it a damage value of 1 if you change it to damage 1 it'll give you granite and likewise if you go to the wool wool number 0035 slash 2 so it gives you all that information so if you put wool with a damage of 2 it'll give you magenta wool. So I'm going to take that off because I already know most of them but if you need to know them, you can just do that. Um, and the the set block also works with exact coordinates, if you were wondering. So if I do, if I actually go to slash set block, and then I actually hit tab right here, it'll put the x coordinate of the block I'm looking at. If I hit tab again, it'll put the y coordinate. And if I hit tab again, it'll put the z coordinate. And then I can put stone. And it set the block that I was looking at to stone, which that's my floor. I don't want that to get all screwed up. Uh, but anyway, so that's really cool, and that's something they added in one of the newest snapshots, if you're wondering. So whatever block you're looking at, you just hit tab, 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 and it'll immediately put the coordinates for you. Um, so next up, there's also uh, one more use for it, and that's destroy, which I'm going to put a block here. And if I go like so, and I hit tab, 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 and I put stone, and then the damage value you need, and then also destroy at the end, it'll do that little blade break thing, and it will actually drop the item as well. Um, which fell over here, which is really weird. It's under the desk, guys. Anyway, but um, it fell out, and if you turn tile drops off, it won't happen. So um, you can just try typing different things with, like, the destroy and stuff. Uh, and there's a bunch of different things. If you want to set a block to be a, uh, a chest, you can go to MC Stacker, which just give me a moment. Okay, so I pulled up MC Stacker, and if you go right here, and you click Set Block, it, you can type in the block you want, and it'll generate it for you. Um, generally, you would want to put replace, so I can do chest right here. And you can put in your coordinates. If you leave this, it'll just do tilde tilde 1, so it places one block above the command. And here's the different slots, so you can put like slot 17, I can put diamond. And then copy and paste this, so it just makes things a lot easier. Put that down, click needs redstone, always active, and it puts chest with the diamond ore right here. So you can just play around with that and make different things. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for this chapter. And I didn't put any practice problems because really there's not that many applications. I mean, I guess I could do a practice problem where you have to um, make a dispenser with a certain item in it. But that would require you to go to MC Stacker and I don't really want you to do that. So there wasn't too much this week. 
Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to be making the next chapter pretty soon here. And uh, hopefully, if you guys are looking forward to it, I'll make it a little bit sooner. And I have a lot of other videos in store. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.